what happened in the last half of the year. Thank you for joining us. To you. Okay. Thank you, guys. That's a good start. Uh, thank you for coming uh, to my uh, lecture. Uh, my name is Ervin Hegedish. I'm from Hungary. Uh, and uh, I don't want to talk about what is the mod security. I assume everyone knows the what, what is the mod security itself. It's an open source web engine. And uh, as you know, uh, in end of January, the, the previously code owner transferred the rights and the whole code base to the OS. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm one of the lucky guy who <laughs> Uh, who can continue their contribution. And uh, uh, as a co-leader, I feel the responsibility I should talk about uh, the half year, what, what happens in last half year, which, which was the first half year in our, our life. So uh, a brief history. In uh, 2010, the trust have acquired the breach security, and uh, the company started uh, uh, to continue the the mod security developing, and 2050, uh, Trustwave started uh, to develop a, a library, which is an, a lead mod security 3. Uh, 2018, that was the first release of lead mod security 3, uh, and uh, in the same time, the engineers connector. So Trustwave uh, developed a whole VAF solution for engineers. And uh, as I know, this is the only one uh, existing uh, WAF uh, solution for Nginx, uh, which is uh, code reset compatible because there are so many other WAF-like uh, uh, solution, but not uh, uh, not covered for every attacks. Uh, in uh, 2021, uh, of uh, I just trust with announced that uh, they will stop the um, developing of the mod security and the whole project. And uh, 2023, um, last autumn, uh, OVAS applies uh, as a possible maintainer and uh, started the discussions with the TrustFave. And uh, in January of this year, uh, TrustFave transferred the code, the whole code base to the OVAS. Sorry for the delay. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, so, and uh, there is only one thing uh, left, uh, the modsecurity.org domain, which is uh, still owned by Trustwave. And uh, as I know, there is a scheduled uh, time, uh, 8th of July, when we, yeah, when we, we will receive the modsecurity.org domain too. And uh, uh, finally, everything uh, will be owned by the OBAS. Uh, so OVAS reached the Coruset team uh, because there are many strong uh, uh, connections uh, between the two projects. Uh, Christian, who sits here, fortunately, uh, asked Mark Stern, uh, he's a Belgian guy, and me to join the new team. And uh, actually we are three, the co-leaders uh, of the project. Uh, Mark Stern uh, is a long-term contributor. He sent patches since, uh, uh, I don't remember exactly, 2015. Uh, and uh, I sent my first, first patch in the 2018. Uh, we created a uh, project plan, which is public. Uh, everyone can um, read that uh, in the January. Uh, and uh, we shared that on the pro Project Mode Security Slack channel. Uh, we have many goals uh, there. Uh, so first, move the code base under the new organization on the GitHub. 
uh, that was the OVAS Mod Security. So this is the new name of the organization. Uh, it's trying to establish the communication channels, which was very important. Uh, so we created a, a, a channel on Slack. We, we got the ownership of the Twitter channel or the Twitter account. Uh, web is pending and the mailing list is also pending because nobody knows where is the, who, who was the admin of the uh, mailing list, unfortunately. But there is not so heavy traffic, so uh, it's very minimal. Uh, the plan was establish um, um, a preliminary leader team with two or three people, then three people came there and uh, try to reach the earlier developers because unfortunately the community was not so strong around the uh, mod security. <clears throat> and there were some technical goals. Uh, we tried to review the low mod security code base, lib mod security code base, uh, uh, and get started to closing uh, the behavior um, of differences uh, between mod security 2 and lib mod security 3 because there are few uh, differences between um, the engine's behavior. So the result is not the same if you apply a rule set and send a request. In some cases, there are some many false positive or false negatives results, which is not good. Uh, yeah, and started to use the sonar cloud. Maybe you know uh, the sonar cloud, uh, which was um, a big step uh, in the project life. Uh, there were some um, very few critical issues we started to solve. And um, I can say um, most of them are covered, but not merged yet. Uh, and uh, also looking uh, the, uh, look into improving the performance of Libmod Security 3 and Mod Security 2 both. Uh, yes, and the next step is stabilizing the Libmod Security 3's Apache connector, because Libmod Security 3 has only one connector from Nginx, but the, the main goal is, uh, um, after uh, after we finish the library, uh, we can we can focus on only the lead mod security three, and we can forget the mod security two if the performance and every criteria will match uh, with uh, what we imagine actually. So the problem is that the community is growing very very slowly. Uh, only few new developers uh, appeared around. Uh, uh, we're dealing with problems, um, and uh, it, it, it took a lot of time. Uh, only the Libmod Security 3 had um, a CI/CD pipeline. Uh, this means uh, that the other code base, for example, the V2 codes and the Nginx connector, uh, didn't have any CI/CD pipelines, which was a big problem. Uh, so the first step was uh, we created our CI/CD pipelines, uh, both of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, there was an uh, an aim uh, in, the or in the original plan uh, that we step down after we we can build um, a developer a core developer team. But unfortunately, <laughs> there is no new developer, so the team is still uh, as in January. Uh, so, despite the lack of uh, low resources, uh, we merged about 19 commits into V3, uh, about 55 commits in V2, and about 21 commits into the engineer's connector. So, some development uh, happens, and we solved 21 issues on GitHub, which is not so more, but uh, fortunately, there wasn't so much issues, new issues. Uh, yeah, and the future plans, uh, yeah, we need, uh, we definitely need uh, a help for the community because we need people for reviewing codes, testing, um, uh, provide patches, review patches, uh, and, and anything else. Uh, Um, I'm afraid.
Yeah, I think I jumped a few slides. Ah, yeah, the successes, it's more important. Uh, yeah, there was a guy, Eduardo Arias, uh, who unfortunately, I don't know who is that. I tried to reach him because he made the port for the Windows for Limit Security 3 and Nginx Connector 2. So Limit Security 3 is win uh, running on Windows now. Uh, the modsecurity.org website is ready to run. Uh, if we will own the domain, uh, we can start uh, the new website. Uh, thanks for Hubert Civic, who is a Poland guy, and uh, Christian Folini. Uh, Max Leske, he's a Swiss guy and the um, uh, developer of the CRS developer. He helped me um, to build the Mod Security Engineer pipeline, so it's covered. And uh, I finished the pipeline for Mod Security 2. Uh, and uh, yeah, the GitHub administrative task. Uh, permission, issue templates, uh, Felipe helped me a lot in the, in these topics. Uh, so now we have nine repositories. It's, uh, there are eight public and one private. The private is just a release procedure. It's a wiki page, so nothing special. Um, we will merge, uh, that into the wiki, but, uh, until it, it's not finished, I don't want to share it. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we, we still don't have enough uh, people. And, uh, yeah, I started the sub-project. Uh, it's uh, already available on the GitHub uh, because um, we have to test the Seclang behavior. Seclang is a undocumented and um, um, it's, a, uh, it's a bit weird language. But, uh, so the problem is there is no exact definition how could be uh, work. And uh, never mind, um, I started to build a tool uh, which creates um, um, rules and uh, tests for rules. And uh, we can cover all variables and operators and R tokens in the both engines. Uh, if, we, if we would have this tool, uh, for example, one year ago, we should avoid, uh, we should have avoid the, the CVA, last CVA, which was um, opened in uh, January in this year. Uh, yeah, the future plans is we will try to improve the code quality. Uh, uh, we use the um, uh, Sonar Cloud. There are many small issues, so everyone wants to join. Uh, everyone can pick up uh, small issues on Sonar Cloud and the uh, uh, most of them are, are very easy to fix it. Um, there is a, another plan. We, we should, uh, we would like to split, uh, into the two parts, the, um, mod security two and lib security three. So now they are, uh, one repository for two code bases, which is a bit confusing. And, uh, we would try to detach the V2 codes into the separated repository. Uh, yeah, as I said, fix sonar clues, critical bugs. Uh, we would like to create a new release in the soon, uh, in the uh, uh, closest future. Uh, we would try to continue the community building and, uh, and the goals which we, um, um, described in, in the earliest time. Yeah, and this is the last uh, slide. So that's it in, in quickly. Any question? Competition here, we don't name it. <laughs> and there's the core rule set and other activities. And how does mod security blend into this? What, what do you see your role going forward for, for that 20 year old code base? 
Uh, it's a good question. Um, I think mode security has, uh, still has a, has a, a future. Uh, ex uh, but I think, <laughs> but I think uh, we should we should cooperate uh, with the other teams because, uh, for example, uh, as on the yesterday Sierra's um, meeting, Juan Pablo described um, an idea of the new cycling. Uh, yeah, it makes sense to create a new cycling, and I'm sure if. Uh, th there is a um, usable plan to create a new cycling. Uh, we should integrate into the mode security too. But uh, I think uh, this expectation is true for both direction. For example, uh, uh, I had a plan to improve the XML parsing uh, inside of mode security, as you know, because um, uh, XML parsing is very poor inside of both engine, both mode security 2 and lib mode security 3, and uh, we have to improve it. And uh, if we um, if we create a solution inside of the engine, maybe Coraza should have to continue this behavior because if there is no compatibility, uh, it's a big problem. So I think we have to cooperate together uh, in the future. But strictly. Yeah, definitely. So if anyone wants to join uh, in any kind of project, so there are eight repositories, uh, I'm sure everyone can uh, find a good one for himself or herself. Uh, you can reach me on uh, Slack on Git or GitHub. Uh, and uh, on GitHub, you can navigate uh, from the uh, GitHub, you can navigate to the Sonar Cloud. As I explained, there are many, many small issues. For example, Sonar Cloud finds um, very easy issues. Uh, example, the uh, mod, mod Security 2 written in C, a Limit Security 3 is written in C++. So C and C++ is a very strict language, as you know. Uh, and the uh, sonar cloud finds uh, many issues um, regarding to types and not correct types, which is very easy to fix. It's not a critical issue, so we can leave it together them, but uh, if someone starts to maintain this code, uh, maybe he can continue with other complex uh, problems. Okay, thank you guys. <laughs>